Common accidents in the home. Snake bites and poisoning. Honestly, Jim, I hate talking about snakes because I am very scared of them. Anyway, even though not all snakes are poisonous, mm -hmm. telling is hard most of the time. I advise that you treat all snake bites as if they are from poisonous snakes. Poisonous snakes inject poison, that is venom, found in their fangs into the bitten part of the body. Therefore, when giving first aid, aim at stopping the poison from spreading to the rest of the body. I know how to do that. You tie a cloth around the beaten part. Exactly. Just above the bite, but not too tightly. Keep loosening the cloth every half an hour to allow blood circulation. Do not move the beaten part, as this will make the poison to spread more rapidly. If a person has been beaten on the foot, he should not walk. Carry the victim on a stretcher. Or on my back. And then? Wipe the beaten part with the cloth to remove poison which may be on the skin. Use a clean, sharp razor to cut the injured part about four times, doing it parallel to the length of the limb. Hmm. Then, gently but firmly press the sides of the injured part to make the wound bleed to remove the poisoned blood. Treat for shock and seek medical attention. Hmm. You mentioned that uh, it's not possible to tell a bite of a poisonous snake from a non-poisonous one. I did not say it is impossible. I only said that you should take precautions. All right. You have to study the bite marks very carefully. Hmm. A poisonous snake leaves two clear marks caused by the fangs. A non-poisonous one does not leave any marks. It is that simple. Hmm, that's simple. So, truth be told, I fear snakes the most, just like you. Then in that case, do all you can to keep them away by ensuring that the compound is clean, bushes around the house are cleared, the house is well lit, plus beddings are changed and aired regularly. Mm. This will also help a lot in preventing insects that cause bites and stings. Oh, do you want more cassava? Mm, yes, the cassavas are so tasty. <laughs> I am flattered, my son. But I am always very keen when buying cassava from the market. Otherwise, we could have poisonous cassava for breakfast. What? I thought all cassavas are okay. Not really. Some varieties of cassava can cause poisoning. Hmm. Poisoning happens when you eat or touch certain poisonous parts of foods, wild plants, fruits, or grains that have been sprayed with chemicals. Some people take an overdose of medicine to heal quicker. This can cause poisoning. And in that case, then, even swallowing kerosene can lead to poisoning. Very correct. Also, inhaling agrochemicals and using cosmetics that contain mercury and hydroquinone can lead to poisoning. Hmm. <laughs> Why would one want to inhale agrochemicals? That's insane. This usually happens when bottle containers containing chemicals are not clearly labeled. Oh, so poisoning can be avoided if we label the bottles well. Yes, plus Kerosene should not be stored in juice or water bottles. <laughs> because young children can mistake them for juice or water. Very clever boy. Also, follow the doctor's prescription when taking medicines. Wash your hands thoroughly after using chemicals and store out of reach of children and away from food. Wow. Oh, I am getting late for my swim. Hey, aren't we forgetting something? My swimming suit? No! How to help a poisoned person? Oh, fine. Can you be brief about it, please? I will try, but you must do further research on this. Hmm. All right. First, check 
for clues to identify the poisonous substance. Mm -hmm. If the lips of the victim are dry and complains of a burning sensation in the throat or pain in the stomach, then do not make him vomit. This is because vomiting the corrosive substance may cause further damage to the throat. Give the victim plenty of water to drink. Instead. Okay, and that is uh, meant to neutralize the poison? Not really. The water is meant to dilute the poison, which is eventually passed as urine. Oh, and that's it? Hey, what's the hurry? If the poison is from acidic substance, give an antiacid drink to neutralize the poison. Such drinks are milk of magnesia, which is magnesium hydroxide, crushed chalk, or normal milk. Okay. And um, in case the victim had taken basic poison, we give fruit juice, then get help from a doctor, right? Yeah. But all these steps are followed when the poison is corrosive. Mm. For non-corrosive poison, proceed as follows. Push two fingers down the throat of the victim or make him swallow raw eggs to make him vomit. Oh no, that's weird. Let me finish. Make the victim to vomit while bending forward to prevent the vomit getting into the lungs. Mm -hmm. Give plenty of milk or warm water having baking soda to dilute the poison in the stomach. Repeat the steps as required and take the victim to, to a, a doctor. doctor. Are you done, ma'am? Go swim, but do not drown like in your dreams. Hey, I knew you were going to say that. Thanks anyway. You're welcome to summarize all that you have learned. Oh no. All right. Not all snakes are poisonous. Poisonous snakes leave two distinct marks when they bite. Now, when bitten by a snake, Tie a piece of cloth just above the beaten part to prevent poison from spreading to the rest of the body. Do all that is necessary to remove poisoned blood from the wound. And call for an ambulance. Have I forgotten something? Yes, a lot. Keep the compound clean to destroy habitats of snakes and insects. And label well all chemicals in bottles kept in the house. Plus, do not store paraffin in a soda or water bottle. One who has consumed poison needs immediate medical attention. Hmm. Time to go. Time to go. See you. See ya.